What's up, everyone? You're here with Gora for Pick Dogs. And thank you for joining me here for your free picks for the MLS on Saturday, June 29th. Well, guys, in addition to all the picks that we have in Euro Cup and Copa America on Saturday, and we do have uh, videos for all those games up on the Pick Dogs YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. Uh, we also have 13 games in the MLS schedule, uh, 7.30 p.m. And after that are the kickoffs of the game. And we have some interesting matchup, which should, which should see some goals and some uh, very entertaining matches as well. Um, for more free picks, of course, like I said, go up to the Pink Dogs YouTube channel and check it out. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment. And uh, for my best bets, you can click the link in the description of this video. That will get you up to my premium page. That's for you guys who, who are smaller bettors, who maybe like to combine stuff and like that. Um, you can get a daily pass, three day pass, seven day pass, or even a month long pass. And if you're one of those big bettors who like to place $500 bets and above that, or the single bet who likes to wait for picks uh, an hour to half an hour before the game, once we see the lineups, once we see all the lines settled and stuff like that, uh, Golden Boot VIP Access is the product that we have for you. Uh, simply text the word GOLD to 443-780-5663, we'll get you set up and uh, with that product you will get my top top bets, the bets where I put a lot of money on and uh, you are simply committing uh, a month of your time to that and uh, have in mind it's not a free service and uh, we will be making money on that as we have been since that product has started. Now let's get this show on the road guys with the MLS. 30 games that's a lot of stuff to go through and the first one is between uh, atlanta and toronto and atlanta is a decent favorite in this game they are playing at home after all but uh, toronto hasn't won any of their last six games they are on a three game losing streak and if i'm being honest uh this bad spell is lasting for far too long yes they're missing a few players for sure but uh insidia should be ready to play in this game bernadeski as well and uh they are coming off of a shutout game against New York Red Bulls, but overall they have been scoring a lot of goals and Atlanta hasn't been the best team in the league so far this season. So I believe it's time for Toronto to, to, to kind of snap that losing streak. And we, with that in mind, I'm going to take Toronto on the double chance here in this one at plus 105. Should be a fun game, definitely, but uh, I just have a feeling that uh, Toronto will not be losing this one. For our next matchup, guys, we have Montreal hosting Philadelphia, and uh, I'm going to keep this one very, very simple. Philadelphia is on a losing streak as well. However, they have been scoring goals quite consistently, and uh, frankly, Montreal cannot be uh, trusted to keep a clean sheet. So uh, both teams to score an over 2.5 definitely could be the way to go for a nice plus money, but uh, I'm going to keep it simple. Like I said, I'm going to take over 2.5 at minus 154. New England and Columbus is probably one of the most interesting games of the day because New England is now on a four-game losing streak. They're playing pretty well. They're scoring a lot of goals. Uh, while Columbus definitely one of the best teams in the league and they're very, very hard uh, to beat. Whether they play it at home or on the road, their form is actually quite solid and they are scoring a lot of goals as well. Um, I think this is going to be the game where we definitely see some goals. But uh, thanks to the great form that New England is right now, especially when playing at home, I'm going to take New England team total over one and a half goals at plus 115. This doesn't necessarily mean they're going to win this game because Columbus could easily score a couple of goals on their own. But uh, however I slice this one, guys, I see New England scoring at least twice in this game. New York Red Bulls will be hosting DC United and uh, DC United is also one of those teams who are on a bad slump. They haven't won any of their last eight games, being on a three-game losing streak. Uh, when playing on the road, they're not that good. Uh, however, New York Red Bulls are coming into this game with a few missing players still and uh, despite their very, very good form... Uh, I just don't see them keeping a clean sheet here. I expect this United to step up. I expect them to, to maybe create some chances, score some goals. And they're also one of those teams who have a lot of injuries as well. Uh, so there's no way that they can keep a clean sheet here. So uh, in this game, I'm going to go with both teams to score it over two and a half goals at plus 102. For our next matchup, guys, we're going to go to Dallas. And uh, Dallas is hosting Cincinnati in this one. 
Um, they've actually beaten Cincinnati only one time they played against each other. That was back in 2019. Uh, but uh, you know what? Cincinnati is probably the best team in the league. Uh, if not the best, definitely one of the best. But Dallas hasn't lost any of their last seven home games. And they're actually playing quite well in that attack again. Uh, they've scored at least a goal in each of their last four games. And I think they will do it here as well. However, against one of the best teams in the league, keeping a clean sheet will be a tough, uh, tough task to accomplish. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go with over two and a half at minus 139. I think that if both teams will score, the over two and a half will hit as well. Uh, so you might want to go with both teams to score an over two and a half for a nice plus money. I'm simply trying to remove all the volatility out of the pick that I can. Uh, if in any case one of the teams gets shut out, uh, that's the reason why I'm taking over two and a half at minus 139. Houston will be hosting Charlotte in another matchup in Texas. And uh, you know what? Houston undefeated in their last five games, playing really well in that attack again, scored a lot of goals over the last six or seven games. While Charlotte on the other side uh, has beaten Houston twice in the past, 2-1 in both games. And uh, they are undefeated in their last four games as well. So this could be a very, very interesting matchup. Uh, in which I will take over two and a half goals as well, and that is at minus 108. Nashville is hosting Inter Miami, who will be playing this game, of course, without Suarez, without Messi. Uh, Matias Rojas is out as well. Uh, Redondo is injured. Uh, Diego Gomez is injured. Farias is injured as well. Uh, this is a bit of a mixed team right now without all of those big starters like Messi and Suarez, but this is a team that still has Sergio Busquets, that still has Jordi Alba, and uh, they are the team that definitely still score goals. They are, as a matter of fact, on a, on a two game winning streak during which they've scored four goals, and they've actually scored seven in their last three games. Nashville, on the other side, is coming off of a win against uh, NYCFC 1 0, uh, but uh, I I don't think they can keep a clean sheet here. Now, Miami hasn't lost any of their last six games on their own. They will definitely go for the win here. They don't have much to lose. And uh, because of that, I'm going to go with over two and a half at minus 154. Kansas and Austin is another matchup in the MLS that could potentially be very interesting and filled with goals. Kansas winning only one of their last six games while losing the other five is definitely one of the most inconsistent teams in the league and one of the weakest teams in the league this season. Uh, each of their last uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 games have gone over 2.5 and, and a lot of those have got both teams to score it over 2.5. Now Austin on the other side, granted, is a little bit weaker on the road than they are when they are playing at home. But uh, anyone in this league can score a goal against Columbus, uh, against Kansas right now, and Austin is definitely one of those teams. So, once again, over two and a half goals at minus 139. LAFC will be playing against Colorado in Los Angeles, and uh, if this was any other team other than Colorado, I would be taking LAFC on the money line. But with the fact that Colorado has been playing outstanding football over the last couple of weeks, they are on a three-game winning streak, they've scored nine goals in those three games, I simply have to go with both teams to score and over two and a half goals at minus 120. I'm not going to complicate things here. Potentially, LAFC could get a win out of this game. They are in great form as well. But uh, Colorado is simply playing too well right now uh, to pass up on this. Both teams to score it over 2.5 at minus 120. Portland is hosting Minnesota uh, on the West Coast in another interesting matchup. And uh, there's a lot of goals expected in this game. Uh, expected in this game. And I do understand why, because Portland is scoring a lot when playing at home, but they're also conceding goals as well. Minnesota on the other side has been a little bit hot and cold lately uh, without a win in their last four games, but uh, they are scoring goals quite consistently as well. And uh, even though I'm leaning towards uh, Portland in this game, if I'm being honest, as they haven't lost any of their last six games, uh, they also haven't won any of their last three games against Minnesota. And that kind of scares me because Minnesota is definitely due for a nice breakout performance. And I wouldn't be surprised if it comes in this game. So uh, the over two and a half is quite juiced. Both teams to score is juiced as well. Uh, so there's no value in that. But there is value in over one and a half goals in the first half, which is at plus 110. 
San Jose will be hosting Galaxy in the next matchup, and I'm actually going to keep this one very, very simple, guys. Uh, Galaxy is plus 120 favorites, and that is after they are now on a three-game winning streak while winning five of their last six games. Um, they do have a couple of injured players, and Ricky Puj is still listed as questionable. However, I think he will be ready for this game. While San Jose has seven injured players, they lack depth, they lack quality, their form is horrible as they haven't won any of their last seven games. I simply have to take LA Galaxy on the money line. At plus 120, there's just no way around it. Even if we end up losing this pick, I will not be sorry because it's not often that we are getting such a great price on a team in a much, much better form and a team that will definitely go for the win here. Seattle and Chicago is another matchup on the West Coast, and uh, Chicago, after being uh, undefeated in four games, is coming off of a loss to Orlando 4-2, and uh, even though they lost, they kept scoring goals, which is now a streak of six games that Chicago has scored at least a goal. Seattle on the other side, two wins, five draws, and only one uh, loss at home so far this season. And they haven't lost to Chicago in any of their last nine home games. However, if I'm being honest, uh, I don't see either side keeping a clean sheet here. So definitely both teams to score it over two and a half could be the way, the, the way to go. If once again you like a nice plus money. But since the over two and a half is priced at such a good price at minus 133. Uh, just to remove the volatility out of the, the pick. Uh, just in case either of the teams gets shut out. I'm going to go with the over two and a half. And like I said, the price is at minus 133. And the last pick of this video, guys, is between Vancouver and Salt, uh, St. Louis. This game is being played in Vancouver between two teams in a struggling form. Uh, but uh, you know what? St. Louis hasn't won any of their last eight games. They're still without a win on the road with five draws and three losses. While uh, Vancouver has won two of their last six, but lost the other four. And they need to get a win out of this game. Uh, one thing that could potentially go their way is the fact that St. Louis is missing like six or seven players because of the injuries. And uh, it's not like Vancouver is uh, all healthy and ready to play. However, all of their key players, their core of the team is ready to play. They're healthy. And Vancouver will go for the win here. There's going to be a full stadium, uh, a lot of support from the stands. And uh, with that in mind, I'm taking Vancouver on the money line at minus 118. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. These were our free picks for the MLS on Saturday. Like I said, 13 games on the schedule. There's a lot of other games in Euro Cup and Copa America as well. So check those out. Subscribe to the Pigdars YouTube channel. Hit that like button. And uh, I'll see you guys soon with more free winners.